I just like to keep busy and it's just, it's... Yeah, okay. What do you do on a Sunday? Though? Can I have a flyman to the fire floor, please? A flyman to the fire floor. Thank you. Leighton Williams. Hi, you're right. I found you an icon today. Well, thank you. I think uh, you are. Do you really? Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. I use it lightly, but actually, I would never obviously consider myself an icon because that's a lot. But I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. I like what you put on Twitter yesterday. You said you're very happy at the moment. I am. I'm just... It's really nice to say. There's so much negativity on Twitter. I feel like Twitter is cancelled. Like, yeah. it is... Instagram... I don't know. I used to be a Twitter kind of gal. And then all my followers came on Instagram. So I was like, oh, see Twitter. If I'm feeling the love on Instagram, I'll be there. And yet every time I go on Twitter, something happens. Something, everyone's arguing something. I just go on to crack a little lol or, you know, a little world peace moment. And then yeah. let's, let's not get too deep into it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm just going to put out some positivity if we can. I mean, the odd complaint too. <laughs> I love a good moan, but you know. Yeah, we're happy. How can I not be? So tell me, how is it being Jamie new? Oh my goodness. I honestly have to pinch myself every day. Like, I, come into, I come into here, it's my dress up full of... I like what you've done to the place. You know, I shushed it up a little bit. Yeah, it's nice. I'm going to make it like, oh, I'm from home. Got my little bits and... This is my little memorabilia, this is Billy Elliot. Oh, yes. My friend made me this dream catcher. So my family up there, I'm not sure if you can see it. We're just gonna make it like I spend at least two, three hours a day. Spice girls up. Spice girls up here. Yeah, like I spend two, three hours a day. Yeah. Here every day, if not more. Apart from Sunday, so it's like I have to feel like I'm welcome. Do you know what I mean? At home from home. Yeah, but I'm just having a ball. You and John oh. have been friends for years, haven't you? Yes. So me yeah, me and John have just been friends, so that's Besties since high school. It's me, Jordan, and John. So Jordan's actually also in the cast too, which is crazy. Um, and this is our third job together, which is also wild. So we kind of just follow each other about, and then this just happened like just so wild. Like it was. So when you came to watch him in the show, did you say anything? No, no, no. I was sat. I was here as a friend. Yeah. Truly, I wasn't like. I'm coming for your role, bitch. <laughs> like I genuinely, the first time I saw it in Sheffield, because I auditioned for the role. Years, years, years back. Wow. It was like the first time I, I didn't realize. And I didn't book, so, you know. And I'm strong believing in like everything happens for a reason at the time. And I knew there was something like, I was obviously destined to play the part one day. And that sounds really like destined, but whatever. Like it was meant to be, but at that time, the vocals were dusty. I was young, like I'm a couple years younger than John as well. So like I wasn't quite there. I wasn't on it. And I remember doing my audition and I thought, I'm gonna smash this. I thought like it was a meeting, I was like, you know, this is a given. And I was like, oh god, it was actually a really nice and story. It was on a train on the way to a party. And I was with John and John and we were talking about, oh we've got this audition coming out. It was like and I was like, yeah, it's got this meeting, you know, this um, gonna be, you know, it's gonna be great for me. Like they think I'm gonna smash it, my agent's really excited. I was like, you know, probably gonna book. And John was like, What's that? And I was like, Oh, it's called Everybody's Talking About Jamie. And he was like, I've got an audition too. I was like, Oh. I was like, well, good luck. <laughs> and the rest is history. We all know what happened. <laughs> but it's my time now and I couldn't be more. Yeah. Busy. So how did, did they make your audition again or? Um, well, yeah, I didn't like just get given it. I think they've had their eyes on me for a minute, yeah. you know. It's so weird how it happened. I just basically got a call um, off John being like, I'm gonna, the director, what's your number? Like, do you wanna have a chat to him? And I was like, what about? He was like, what do you think? I thought, uh, give him my number. I said, yeah. And then he called me and was like, oh my god, like, um, how would you think about coming in, having another material, da da da. I said, we need to make this quick then, because I've got a job. Like, I'm, I'm about to sign myself away for however long I said, I wasn't really available. But when this opportunity comes about, yeah. you jump through hoops. And hoops we did, thank goodness for my agents, like, oh, they're amazing, and we made it work, and, you know, it was hard, because I've never really had to kind of jump shit like that before, and, you know, basically upset other people but I knew that this this was my this was my gig I, ha I had to do it and it's amazing it's just everything like everything you would wish you know when you were a kid and I remember like when I went to a telecom team I'd come home from school me and my friends would walk and we'd talk about what we expected of for our futures you know we want to be you know a star in the west end you want to be a star in the west end have your name in lights and your face and and then when it actually happens you're like fuck I mean, I swear. No, you're not. <laughs> 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 so yeah, um, I'm buzzing. But do you feel like you've settled in now? 
fully settled. I think, did you see the gala? Yeah. Like the gala night was a bit frantic. I wish we could do another gala night now that I'm just like fully in ownership of the part. Like, it was still holding me yeah. a little bit that part. It was dim in headlights a little bit. Definitely took me a good four or five weeks to settle. And now, <laughs> now, woo, I'm feeling cute. Like, I don't, get, I don't get particularly nervous. I get excited. And honestly, when I start the number and I clock on the wall and it's me, it's just like, I'm literally like, wow, I look up into the lights and I just see, you know, the sea of people, I think, how is this my life? I think because I'm so happy and I'm doing it and I love it and I'm busy. Yeah. Like during the day, this, today's the first day of the whole contract that I've literally not really left bed until like three, four o'clock and just lounged about. Usually I'm up, out, doing interviews, busy, girl about town, Spanish lessons, you know how it is, doing this, doing that, photo shoots. I don't know who I think I am, but... You're learning Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> the Spanish lessons are done now, I did 12. I'm gonna oh test my God. you then. No, don't, honestly. I hope I pass my test. But I just like to keep busy and it's just, it's... Yeah, get... about the what do you do on a Sunday? Can I have a fly to the fly floor, please? A fly to the fly floor, thank you. That's the stage of life. Um, Sunday, well, the first few Sundays when I was um, playing this part, I didn't speak. Full voice rest. I was so paranoid about losing my voice. Yeah. I've finally started to get my life back a little bit more. Like I'll have a couple more drinks on Saturday. Like I've not party partied for a minute. Like I'm a partier. Don't care to admit it. I love a good boogie, but I, it's not worth it with this job. Like yeah. I have to be professional. I have to run this ship. Do you know what I mean? Obviously with everybody else too. But if I'm rolling in hungover and being whack and dropping my lines, I mean I drop my lines sober. Do you know what I mean? And never mind on a hangover. So. There's a lot of stuff going on and, yeah. and, you know, that pressure, so I just have to make sure I'm focused. But yeah, it's, Sundays are now starting to get a bit more eventful. I can do things because I'm settled. So I'm worried, well, yeah. Well, we need to talk about your new castmates who are joining you very soon. Oh my God. Bianca Del Rio. I mean, how major? Like, come on. How did you find out? Did it they call was, you and say, guess what? Well, no, I actually found, I, f I found out with, we, we found out before everybody else, of yeah. course. But it was just like, like, only like the day off. And I just thought, this is major. Like, you never watch like, the report and think, oh, you're these going to be fan, in. Aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I was watching it this morning. Um, you never think that the cast are going to be in it with you. Now, the show, the show after when I was doing it with Shane, I thought, oh my God, this is going to be very real very one day. Like, playing opposite me. Crazy. I'm sure she's going to be amazing. Have and, you met her? Uh, no, yeah, no, no, I haven't. Do you know what I did think? There was something quite fishy because. I don't know, I've never actually met her, but on social media, like, she's been quite active and, like, liking my posts and, like, doing, like, yes, and giving me, like, the love, which, you know, I expect everyone to. <laughs> and I was like, come on, Bianca, I didn't know she even knew I existed. I was like, yes, Bianca, thanks for the love. Yeah. And then, clearly, it's because she's been in the streets, doing the auditions, well, Roy, Bianca Roy. Yeah. Um, and that's why, so it kind of made sense. And I was like, ah, I see. Nice. Mm. And then also, Faye Toza. Oh my god. I mean, steps. Come on. Can we How go? camp is this cast going to be? And then with me as well, like, what's going on? Like, between us, it's just going to be a glitter ball of fabulousness, and that's, you know. Oh, you need to the Spice Girl next. Oh my god. Well, I'm going to see Spice Girls. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to see them in Manchester. I'm so excited. Man. And one of my friends is actually going to be one of the Spice Boys, which is wild. Ooh. So, I'm getting that VIP <laughs> backstage pass. Oh, I'm gagged. Uh, is that a dream job? Would you have liked to be a Spice Boy? If oh my God, I, I did think, I was like, if... This could come up. Do you know what though? I do Spice Girls, Spice Girls, but my, I'm a Pussycat Doll boy. Like, right. the Pussycat Dolls are my girls. If they did a reunion and yeah. I was free, period, I would, and, well, if I booked, which I would, I would go on tour with them 100. Like, I love them. Every bar, it was my first concert I ever saw, Pussycat Doll tour, PCD, with my mum and my stepmom. They took me for my birthday present, whatever, and then the second tour that was concert they ever saw was ooh, Doll Domination. Like, I'm obsessed. They're and I need them to come back. Like, they're all doing bits. Who's your favourite? Oh, can't make me out. They all have <laughs> They all have their isms that I love. Okay. Yeah. It's Nicole though, isn't it? Well, Nicole's Nicole, but I do live for them all. I truly do. I've met a couple of them too. Nice. Yeah. So let's go back to Billy Elliot. Mm -hmm. There he is. So there he is. I know. What was that like? Do you know what? Little boy from Bury. Yeah, little boy from Bury. 
do you know what, you can't, I can't really explain it in a way because when I was a kid, I didn't really know what anything different because I had nothing to relate it to, I had nothing to kind of seek it from. I, I guess I was just going through this experience that was just new, 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 and I was just, every step was just like, let's just get it. Um, didn't realise the pressure that was on, it was just, oh, a musical, what's the West End, what's London, yeah, go on then, I'll do it. It just happened like that, it was very much like the Billy Elliot story. And I do think, like, without that, like, these... That was the first stepping stone, you know? And that was the one thing, I, when I think about Billy, when I was, especially when I was rehearsing for this, I thought, you've, you've done this. Not this to this, you know, eight times a week and this much pressure, but if I can do it at 12, 13 years old yeah. and play a title role and, you know, do, do that work and that pressure at that age, whenever I got shook about this in rehearsals, which, trust me, I got shook, I just had to remind myself, like, You've done this before, yeah. And you as a person, though, because you're very well grounded. I like to think so. Some people probably I don't think, think I are. am, but yeah, I think yeah, I am. Because you're sassy, but that's part of your nature. Yeah. You're yeah, still so. personable. And... Well, the thing is, I was brought up in a council state Manchester, so we're just normal people. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's great Manchester, very for those from Manchester. People from Manchester don't like me say Manchester. Anyway, great match there. Um, yeah, I have nothing to not not make me rounded. Like, my mum would call her. She knows jack shit about nothing. So I'd tell her, oh, mum, I'm playing Jamie. She's like, mm. I'm like, oh, call somebody else. Like, I'm a very normal family. Um, so that grounds me anyway. I'd go home. I just love seeing them. Um, I guess I'm just a real bitch. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to, to be perceived otherwise. I mean, I love the glam and the life and the, you know, pulling looks and just... <laughs> being extra, but then when it comes down to it, just a real person, I guess. But when you look back over your life, do you ever feel like you missed anything, or...? Uh, do you think, like, my... I didn't really have, like, a normal childhood. Yeah. Like, from the age of 12, I started working professionally, and then I didn't really stop, and then I went to theatre school, and even that was documented on, you know, a TV show, so it's always kind of been a little bit in the spotlight, like, you know, I wasn't Michael Jackson even though we don't want to talk about him anymore. Um, yeah, so it wasn't that, obviously, to that level, but I've always been doing this since, you know, since young, so I don't, yeah, it's not made me crazy yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Never say never. But yeah, talking about Michael Jackson, because obviously you played young MJ mm. in Full Alive, and obviously the documentary, which I'm sure yeah. you've watched. Yeah, I actually watched the first step, I couldn't even take myself to watch yeah. the episode. It's How just, does it impact you when you... Because you obviously have a high regard for that, for that music. It's like it's my hero. And I, I um, know people backing it, people not backing it, but like I just... I see victims when I saw yeah. that first episode and there's nothing that could tell me as to why they would be lying about it, money, whatever. Like, I, you could see it in their eyes and the stories kind of link. It was just... I don't know. I, I just can't stand it anymore. Like, Does I it just, take your regard for his music? Are you able to listen to the songs not really, in the same it can, way? I can, no, I kind of get a bit triggered. Yeah. Which is so sad because it was such a huge part of my life. Like, yeah. The, I Want You Back was my go-to song. Like, it, it was it was everything and now it's just, it's just kind of tainted a little bit. So, I mean a lot. Such a shame. But, you know, thank you, Next. He's dead. We, we've been new now. We've kind of always been new. So, it's not going to let me get down, you know. There's two faces up there, maybe there's just one icon now. How about that? <laughs> Me about man. Yeah, it's just whatever. I want to talk about Ben. Because it's my favourite show. Oh my god. Ever. Was it one of yours when you Do you know what? It was it wasn't until I was getting into it that I realised how much I loved yeah. it. In fact, funny enough, I saw John play it in a like a smaller production in London and he played Angel and I was I remember the when I saw it, I thought, oh, I've got to do that one day. Yeah. And then when it came on, like, again, my like, agent calls, like, oh, have you, you know, um, I've thought about rent, like, can you do the material? I was like, let me call you back in five minutes. I went to the studio, I remember exactly where I was, it was in Newcastle, on tour with some show. And I just went and I started belting out the song, and I called it back, I was like, yes. And the choreographer Lee Proud, apparently when he got the job, he said, I don't want to do it without Layton. And he knew that I yeah. was going to be his angel, and I, I remember getting sick and I was unwell and we were talking to Inverness and I thought, the casting call's going out, no bitches are getting in to be Angel, it's my part! And I remember being like, I was ill but I just put on my heels, I 
brought that camera up and I was today for you and I turned it out. And oh my God, I have the best memories. Some of the best and worst memories because I ended up injuring myself. Yeah. I had to take time out. Um, but it was all part of the journey. And I would have loved to do that show one more time just to close it. Would have loved to do Rent Live, but y'all slept on me. But that's on you, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> what, we, mm. what did you think of that production of it? Listen, what I will say is, it's unfortunate that they couldn't do the live yeah. performance yeah. properly, so, so there we go. Because I like the version you did. I think you ought to be, it brought it back, stripped it back to the Raw, rawness of the show. Real. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see many productions myself apart from that one because it was the 21st anniversary and, you know, I'm only 24 now, so there's not been many productions around whilst I've been old enough to watch it. So I'm just glad to be part of the legacy. And Bianca played Angel, actually. We have one thing in common, so that's really cute. Oh, ah. nice. Amongst many other things, I'm sure, because we're going to be oh, we're besties. We're going to be like besties, aren't Do you know? I'm just like, come in, Bianca, Roy. Oh, but I need to not call her Bianca. Well, I met her as Roy uh, in Freedom. Right, of course. <laughs> Which is where we're probably going to be constantly. Naughty boy. Naughty boy. You in the video. Yeah, oh my god, no one's ever talked to me about that before. Dress. I love that. I feel Wearing like that people slept major. on that. Yeah, I don't it, think people know. Yeah, it was majorly slept on, so if you didn't watch... Look it up. Naughty boy, feet Laura Mavula, like, hello, feet me, hello. Like, what collab? I remember the... Um, um, That's a nice dress. Director, you have some nice dresses in this, but... It was nice. The director reached out to me, um, and Gij Owa, yes, and she was like, oh, this project, okay, how do you in mind? Saw you in Ren. See how things link? Saw you in yeah. Ren. Um, ready to tear, ready to tear. And I thought, let's go for this meeting. What's this going to be about? I was like, who's the artist? Because I was ready for to, to name some name that I didn't even know, some busted peeps. No. Not busted, but come, in, I mean, come up. You know what I mean? When you're like, what's going on? And then when they said who it was, I was like, I'm there. And they were like, and then the pressure didn't get to me until I was on set. And I realised, I was like, bitch, I'm the only artist here today. Just you in a tunnel. It's just it? me in a tunnel, climbing about, choreographing for days, just living my life. And I was like, I was shook. I remember being like, Sis, you better get this together, and you're going to be in a, this six-inch heel for eight hours. And I just didn't make sure I didn't complain once. I made sure I just just got my shit together. And honestly, I mean, it's my first music video, and it was just me, so I felt great. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all my real. I remember messaging her because I didn't get to meet her because she wasn't there. And I was just like, yeah. just want to say, huge fan, so thrilled to be kind of, you know. And she was like, I love the concept, like I love the video. I was like, thanks. Yeah. So I hope to meet one day. And I've not actually met Naughty Boy either, but he's, he was really complimentary about it, so. Well, they just have to write you a song now. Like, yes, actually. Oh she can do the guest focus on it. G- guest. Can you stop. imagine? Actually, I'm going to invite them to come and see the show, so yeah. Yeah. And the Pussycat yeah, Dolls. Happened. Yeah, well. Beautiful people. I love it. This is when I met you. I don't know. You won't remember. No. When you were filming <laughs> Pinewood. No. <laughs> no, but come on, I was 10 I years ago. Yeah, you were. Kid. And I was a runner at BBC. Really? I came to Pinewood, and I think it was one of your last days, and you were doing a, a tableau around the table. And I was sat with Jonathan Harvey, and I was like, that boy is extra. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> but what? That was an amazing show. That show was, I mean... Two seasons, BBC... So it's only 12. Olivia Coleman. Olivia Coleman. Like, and then everyone is smashing it. Like, I see all the actors popping up all over everywhere. And what a great experience for me to, as my first TV gig, to be working with Olivia. Like, I just I felt like I learned so much, but like, that I did. character as well. Kylie was. Oh, I want, I'm still waiting for a spin off. Well, that's what I was about to ask. Were you, were you good to get a third series? Or do you think it. I was so young, it, it, just didn't, it didn't really. Like, I was just like, whatever. Because even Phoebe, Phoebe Waller-Bridge has announced today that Fleabag will not come back for a third series. She's going to leave it at that. Sometimes, sometimes when you drag yeah. it out, it's like... I feel like with beautiful people, I think if it gone on... I don't know, because you can make it look like... There wasn't an exact story, was there? No, exactly. So it could have really should more campery. Oh, they did have. I fast I, forward to what you would have been like, I think, in one of the episodes. I think if he's going to do it again, it should go to like... Real life, Barney's in New York. Yeah. I actually met the um, the real Kylie 
yeah. a few years back, he came to see my show. Um, and it's so wild. I, was, I remember shaking his hand and being like, oh my God, thanks for existing. Like, you gave me a role. Like, it was so sweet. He came to see the show, actually. It was there on Garden Night, I think. Oh, okay. I, I didn't realise we're both based on real people. Yeah, both based on real people. It was like Sam and Luna's actual best friend. Yeah. No way. So cute, man. Yeah. Honestly, I love that show. Like, and still to this day, stage door, everybody's like hypes, like the lingo, they know what's going on. It was yeah. like a cult following. So like, people still stop me almost in the street sometimes. Like, oh my God, girlfriend, are you Kylie? I'm like, how do I still look like that? Do you know what I mean? But yeah. That's well, blonde hair now. Yeah, exactly, I'm blonde again. <laughs> Princess Diana. That's why my mum was like, don't go blonde. And then when we went blonde last time, I was like, mum, one, I was like 14 and a like chubby little bo- boy. I'm gonna look bomb now. I was like, come on. So you do like your fashion. Every time I see you, even if it's on the street, you're looking amazing. You're very well turned out. Thank you. I like to, I just love it. I remember at one point in my, I went out in a dusty outfit once and I just didn't feel myself. Yeah. And I just, I came back home and I looked in the mirror and I said to myself, I was like, you're not doing that again. I mean, I dropped the bottle a couple of times, but <laughs> no, and it's not for, you know, when you watch Queer Eye, they explain it so well. And I'm not sure whether I can, but it's not for anybody else, but it's just for me. Like it makes yeah. me feel good. I put the clothes on and it, it's, it's representing what I put out and how I feel inside. And I literally just, yeah, I love it. I'd love to do like a collab or collection one day. I feel like if this wasn't my industry, it would definitely be something like that. I mean, I'm not pretending I'm the fashion icon of the century, but I just love to just be a bit extra. And not even that extra. You see some no. people that are really out there, but I mean, wait until you see my Olivier's look. That's what I'm saying. Is that it up there? Yeah, on Sunday. Oh my God. Oh my God. How excited are you? It's going to pop. I'm presenting Olivier Award. Like, what even in the world? I, I keep thinking, I was on the tube today and it was like being, print, um, <laughs> there was like posters for it and I was like, I'm a bit shook. Do you have to read it off? Yeah. Um, well, no, I keep telling Shane that we need to um, rehearse. Yeah, and he's it. like, oh, we'll just bring it. I'm like, I'm going to wing this. <laughs> <laughs> wing what? Like, I need to know what's going on. I don't know what to go off book because then I just start chatting shit and then I'll say shit and it's like the Dutch is there and it's just like, oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. I can't wait. Yeah, excited. Yeah. Be there. Um, you talk a lot about the support you've got. Mm. Is it any negative? Social media now. Yeah, right? there is now. Is I've crossed the border now, for, for sure. I've not, I don't just get the love, love, love. I also yeah. get the, oh my God, da, 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 da. And I try not to take it in too much, but it, it, some of it is funny. Like, people <laughs> hurl, hurl and abuse at me being like, oh my God, you know, we don't like his voice. His voice is too pop for this show. Bitch, they're all pop songs. So yeah. don't come for me when you don't have the receipts. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like... Some people just love to make a sign out of something, so I'm just gonna let you have your negativity and keep slaying the stage eight times a week because we've been new here, what's good? So everyone's entitled to their opinion, yeah. right? But when you're gonna say I'm trash and I'm awful, I think that's a reach. Yeah. But I'm gonna let you have it, because like I said, each their own. But does it have an impact? Does it ever get to I mean, it's wild because it. It did, but now I'm just like, I can't be everybody's cup of tea and that's absolutely yeah. fine. And there's many a reason as to why that could be. And, uh, you know, <laughs> awful is a reach. When someone's awful, it's like, awful. So I'm like, you might know, it's like Beyonce. I'm not comparing myself to Beyonce, but you can't, you can't say Beyonce is awful. No. You can say you're not a fan of her work, yeah. but she's not awful. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not comparing myself to Beyonce, but... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Big words. Anyway, thank you, next bitch. Nice. Let's talk about race. Mm. Just touch on it. Because obviously you were trailblazer back when you did Billy Elliot. <laughs> Do you know what, though? I wasn't because I was just doing a job. No, exactly. Like, I didn't know. I think you guys probably, and other people around in the industry exactly. thought so, but I, and just like now, just I just do the job. But were you aware? Because you said when you went into the audition room, you looked around and yeah, I was aware of it because obviously I knew I'm different. I'm, not, I'm I can see the color and I can see yeah. that I'm different. But when they gave me the opportunity and said it's fine, we still want you here. Yeah. As soon as they were like it's fine, I was like, well, I'm fine. Let's go. And I didn't really question it too much. Do you ever feel a responsibility that you're kind of? I feel like a role model. I feel like it is nice to know that um, young, you know, people of color. Uh, looking up and being like, well, if Leighton can do it, we can do it. I've had a few messages yeah. online and people do reach out and like, so inspiring. I did the 
thriller um, anniversary and some of the little young black boys were like, oh my God, like, it's so nice to see you up there in lights and like, it makes us realise that we can really push ourselves and yeah. try for these different roles too. So I guess that is really nice and humbling to hear. Um, and I'm just going to keep on snatching these roles if I can. So I don't really... Like, I, went, I went in for the part, I'm right for the part, I booked the job and I think as long as you're right for it, then this shouldn't be a question and more people should really take what the team and Jamie have done and ride with it because it pops. I'm going to test you some lyrics, if that's all right. Oh, go on, yeah. Let's go back. So I'll give you a line mm. and see if you remember it and give me the next one. Yeah. I can't explain it, I haven't got the words. It's a feeling that you can't control. Oh. They're, they're in the, yeah, in the back. That's in bed, yeah. isn't it? I can literally do that show tomorrow, 100%. Yeah, of course you can, of course you can. It's there, it's so there. How long did you do it for? Around about two years. Two years, wasn't it? Okay, next one. Let me fill your heart with joy and laughter. Togetherness. Girl, it's all the laughter. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Okay, back on the street where I met my sweet. Where he was roaming and groaning on the cold concrete. Yeah, you're (laughs) good at these. Thank you. Right, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. I can say it so, but darling, what's the use? Love it. Um, just pay me back with 1,000 kisses. I'll cover you. Depends what part yeah, of the song is in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, it comes in very yeah. many points, that, so I'm taking that. Um, I mean. <laughs> out of the darkness, into the spotlight. I don't know this one. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) There is a new star shining so bright. There certainly is. Yes. Thank you very much, buddy. Pleasure. Thanks for coming. And now I need to get ready for the show. Yeah. And then the Olivier's. Olivier's on Sunday. Don't fuck it up. I'll try not to. (laughs) (laughs) Peace.